Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this part 1 video, I am going to show you how to create earrings and register to the avatar in Clo 3D. All the earrings I created in this video are available to download for free from my profile page on Clo Set Connect website. So let's get it started. First, go to 3D window and bring out an avatar. Then, you can choose any fabric you want to use to create accessory. My preference is to use trim hardware fabric, but since you don't need to simulate during the whole process, it really doesn't matter. Once you have the avatar, go to 2D window and zoom in. Use avatar silhouette shadow as a guide, so you will have an idea of the size of the earring you are making. For the first example, I am going to create a simple hoop earrings using ellipse tool. You can use polygon or rectangle to create any shape you like in the 2D window. Hold shift and drag to get an even circle. Lower particle distance to one or less to get a smooth curve shape when you are making accessories. Use edit pattern tool, right click on the piece and select offset as internal line. After adding the internal line, use Transform Pattern Tool, right-click on the line and choose Convert to Hole. Now I have a flat hoop earring shape. Go to 3D window, use Gizmo to move and rotate the piece. Place it in the position that you think looked the best on the avatar. Change view angles to double check and make sure the earring is not touch any other part of the avatar besides the ear. The next step, we need to add thickness. Select the pattern piece and go to property editor. Under simulation properties, add thickness rendering, enter the amount to create thickness to this piece. Scroll up to Curved Side Geometry. You can deactivate the function or adjust the offset to your preferred earring thickness and curve. I am happy with the hoop ring thickness, but I think it's too simple. I am going to add three little rings and also apply colors to spice it up. By the way, if you only use one fabric to create the entire design, when you bring the earrings back and want to change color, you can only change the earrings as single color item. If you like to have the option to change colors on different part of the design, you will need to apply new fabric to the pieces. For this earrings I am making, I am going to assign a new fabric to the three small rings. This way, I will be able to change the color separately on the large hoop, and the small rings when I use it in the future. Okay, so now I am done with my design, and I am good with placement on avatar. Go to 2D window and select all the pattern pieces, and right click to choose copy. Then right click again and select mirror paste. You will get the other side of the earring. Check your 3D window. The opposite side of the earring should appear on the avatar. Check the position and see if you need to adjust. I am happy with the way it looks. It's time to export the pattern. Before exporting it, I will save this pattern as project first. This way you can still revise the pattern in the future if you need to. Also when you save as project, you will get a PNG picture that can be used a thumbnail when you register the earrings later. Go to 3D window, remove avatar first. Zoom in and rotate the earring to get a better view of the design. Then go to Top Window Toolbar, under File. Click Save as Project. Click Shortcut 2 to bring the earrings back to front view position. Go to File. Export. 
For the accessory, we need to export the pattern as FBX file. A save file pop-up window will appear, this part is really important. For the initial file saving, you need to type earring as singular, not plural. Also, first letter E needs to be in uppercase. This is what Clo 3 d used to register the accessory. And make sure you know where you save the file. Click save and a new export FBX window will show up. Make sure you select single object. Thick. And check basic information is correct then click OK. Bring your avatar back to 3D window. Go to top window toolbar, under avatar. Choose register accessory. In the register accessory window. Choose earring for the accessory type. In file path, click on the file icon and go find the FBX you exported earlier. The FBX file name should be earring with uppercase E and singular. Click on use custom image and click plus sign. Find the PNG picture from the project file. Click Create, and this time in the Save File window. You can type whatever you want to name your accessory and click Save. Make sure you remember where you save. Clo will indicate the accessories are now completed if there's no issue. Now we can bring the earrings back to check if it has been registered properly. Delete the earring pattern in the 2D window. Locate where you save your earring file and add it to the 3D window. You can click on the earrings to change color and type from property editor. Also you can change pose to check if the earrings will move along with the pose. And there, that's how you create earring from scratch in Clo 3D and register to the avatar. For the next example, if you are not quite sure about your design, you can create a square or rectangle of the size you want your earring to be. Then, use internal lines to draw your design. For the second earrings, I am going to make a upside down hoop earrings. It will be a symmetrical design. So I can just draw half of the shape, then unfold the pattern. Right click on the internal line and convert to hole, make sure you join overlapping points to be able to make a hole. Once I complete the design, I can select all the internal lines, right-click, choose cut to remove all the extra piece. Following the same process like previous example, position the earring on avatar, add thickness and color. To have a more realistic earrings, you can make earring studs and backing. Copy and mirror paste to create the other side. Double check in different view angles. Remove avatar. Then save as project. Export as FBX file. Remember to type earring with uppercase E and singular. Check single object, thick, and make sure basic information are correct. Click OK. Bring back avatar, and go to top toolbar. Under avatar, click on register accessory.
Select earring and type, locate the earring FBX you exported earlier. Then use the project PNG picture as thumbnail and click create. Type in the name you want to call your earring and save. And there. The earrings have been created and registered. Moving on to the third earrings example. For this design, I am going to create a mini cage and put a heart inside. First, I will make a cage wall using rectangle tool and internal rectangle tool. Then convert the internal shapes into holes. Add thickness to this piece and place it near the avatar earlobe in 3D window. Then I will use transform pattern to make copy and paste to add each wall for the cage. Placing each cage wall in 3D window will take a little time to get it right. But it gets better when you practice more. There's no sewing or simulation when you are creating accessories. You will overlap the pieces in 3D window to connect each part. Once I am done with the design. Repeat the same process that we have mentioned in the previous examples. Copy and mirror paste to complete the set. Then save the pattern as project before you export as FBX file. Remember for the initial save file name, type earring with uppercase E and singular. Then go to Avatar, Register Accessory. Select Earring, import your FBX file and add a thumbnail picture. And you will be able to style your avatar with your new accessory. It's simple and easy once you memorize the process. The last example, I will do a quick demonstration. When you want to create the same accessory from a picture you see online to style your avatar. First, you will make a rectangle or square shape in 2D window. Use graphic from the 2D window toolbar to bring in the picture file. Use transform graphic tool to move, rotate and adjust the picture within the rectangle shape. Then, use internal polygon tool to trace the outline of the design. When you are done, select all the internal lines and right-click, choose Cut. Or instead of using Cut, you can choose Clone as Pattern. Once you make the pattern piece of the design, repeat the same process to export and register the earring. If you are not familiar with how to use the tools to trace and clone patterns, please check out my previous videos. I have attached a link in the description for you to download the earrings from my Close Set Connect page. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Please leave your comments. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.